All right, guys, wanted to make a video uh, showing how to do the firmware update for the RC Logger One Link system. And uh, we're also going to go through the process of learning and binding as well. Uh, so but we're just going to walk you guys through it, a real simple process. Um, so here we go, we're just going to start. I've got my windows open, and uh, all you're going to want to do is go to the RC Logger site and download the latest uh, firmware version, which should be uh, available on the regular site uh, here soon. Um, once it's downloaded, then all you're going to do is open it and then you're wanting to go to extract all fi files. You can put it wherever you want, uh, just to make it easy. I'm going to throw it on my desktop and, uh, hit okay, extract. And there it is. It's there on the desktop now. So I'm going to close all this out. And, uh, what we're going to do now, now that's there, what we want to do is we want to put our one link into uh, being set up as a USB drive. So just have one battery in it and you're going to hold down the L button, the learn button. Make sure that it's pressed all the way in. It can be a little tricky, but you can hear the click of it. Uh, keep that held in and you're just going to put uh, the second battery in. If you did it right, then your LED should be a solid red, which means it's a USB drive at the moment. So what we're going to do now is just uh, plug it into our computer and your computer should recognize it now for me because i'm on mac i got to choose uh windows 7 but it should recognize it right away give it a few moments it takes it a few moments to bring it up and uh but once it it shows up then it's all we got to do is delete uh the firmware that's in there and put the new one in so here's the firmware that's on there right now all you're going to do is uh delete this so there we go, hit delete, and you should have an empty folder now. Just open the folder that you extracted uh, earlier and just drag and drop or copy and paste, however you want to do it, the firmware, new firmware in. And that's it, we're basically done. All I'm gonna do is close this out now. Uh, make sure to properly eject the, um, the one link system. So we're gonna eject that, it's safe to remove now. And that is done. So now all we're going to do, uh, you can see it's still in that mode, is we need to remove uh, one battery again. I've just been using the bottom of the uh, battery cover. Uh, and then we're going to put that back in. And now it should be flashing. Um, it should be in learn mode, but for me, I've just been uh, going ahead and holding the power button down, shutting it off. And we'll turn it back on in a minute so let's uh give me a moment and we'll come back and do all of that all right guys so we've got the newest firmware onto the one link system and uh, now we just gotta plug it into our transmitter and uh, learn all the channels on our transmitter so that we can move on to the binding process so uh, i've already switched out my uh, micro usb cable uh, to the proper one for my transmitter for the fataba that i have and uh, just plug it into the back of your transmitter. Uh, one thing I will say is make sure you plug it in all the way so it's got good connection. Push it in there. Make sure it's completely plugged in. Uh, for different transmitters, it's different to get into trainer mode. For mine, I actually have to have mine powered on and it just uh, sees that there's something plugged into the back. So, um, But I think for Spectrum, then uh, you go in, set it to train, and actually turn the transmitter off. So um, different ones for different things, but just uh, just get it to where it's in trainer mode for yours, and then we can move forward with that. So once you're there, then what we're going to do is we're going to hold down the power button uh, for about three seconds on the one link until it beeps at us and lets us know that it is on. Okay, so there it is. It is on. Uh, sometimes you might have to hold that button a couple of times. Uh, most time it's first time, but every once in a while for me, I have to hold it a second time to get it to uh, read that. But anyway, um, once we've done that, what next thing we're going to do is hold down the L button for learn and for about three seconds as well. You'll hear it beep and it'll go into a little bit different of an LED sequence. And so there we go. Um, so now we're in learn mode. So we got to learn channels one through six, at least seven is optional. Um, but we're going to do channel one, which is your throttle. Take it all the way up and back down. Um, next it's going to flash twice, which means it's looking for channel two, uh, which is our rudder. So we're going to take it to the left and back. Uh, next it's looking for channel three with three flashes. So we're going to give it elevator 
and then it's going to get four flashes so we're going to give it uh, Eleron channel 4. For channel 5 it's according to wherever you have it set up on your transmitter um, so here we go for me it's this switch take it all the way all three positions if you have three uh, and then channel 6 all three positions as well and uh, I'm not going to use a channel 7 which is optional so give it a few more seconds and it will do that which means the learning mode is complete and it has all six channels functional so now we're done with that all we got to do is uh, bind it now I'm going to put it there next thing is to plug your lipo into your extreme or into your i1s whatever it is you're using um, so plug that in uh, put that in really watch the battery cables if it has any pull on them then uh, some things might not function right here's your bind button all you're going to do is hold that down uh, until you get green and red flashing on top so that means we're in bond and then it's as simple as uh, pressing the B button for bind on your one link so just tap it and as you can see uh, the I1 Extreme is now flashing green uh, which means it's already showing up that it is being bound and is recognizing the uh, beginner mode that I have it set to on my transmitter. Uh, you'll know it's completed when the LED flashes slower on the one link like it's doing now. So now that is complete. So here we go. Uh, we've got beginner mode. We flip it here and we've got sport mode. And we flip it to the last position and we've got expert mode. Um, if you go into sport mode and flip here, then you've got alt hold. And then uh, I can get it out of that, take it back. And then we've got auto flip. So, uh, so there's your two things and back to normal. So that's the setup. Uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, if you guys have any questions, then I'll be happy to answer them. One thing I will say is when you are setting up the one link please make sure that your channel 5 and channel 6 switches are all the way down position okay uh, be in beginner mode and it would be an out hold uh, for your three position uh, switch um, because I have had a few times where I forget to do that and it will be then a little confused when I first turn it on where when it should be just in standard mode it's an alt hold because I didn't uh, have that switch where it should be so make sure they're all the way down position but uh, that's it guys one other thing that I did want to mention that I forgot about and I apologize about it is uh, also too when you're done make sure to test that everything is working before you just go taking off uh, the main things is number one can you turn the LEDs on and off you should be able to do that by taking your uh, right stick if you're in mode 2 down we'll turn them off all the way down we'll turn them back on Another thing is taking your stick all the way up to the right corner should give you a green solid LED which means it's resetting the gyros and I really suggest doing that at every flight uh, resetting the gyros and then your last test is going to be uh, making sure all four motors turn up just like that and uh, so it looks like we're good so um, thanks for watching guys hope it's helpful and I'll do my best to keep trying to help you guys out with these things.